Hello, and welcome to another lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. This one is on the quotient rule. Now, if you notice up here at the top, I put up a little song, low d high minus high d low over low squared. This is how, this is a mnemonic device that I have always used to remember this formula. Because remember, in the product rule, it didn't really matter the order. You could have taken f prime of x times g of x added to g prime of x times f of x, or you could have switched the order just as long as you had the derivative of one multiplied by the original of the other, and then you did the opposite and, and you added them. Uh, with the quotient rule, that's not going to fly. We have to remember an order. So, hence the reason for the formula. The quotient rule is used when you are taking f of x, sorry, no prime, the quotient rule is for finding the derivative of f of x divided by g of x. So an example of this would be 2x over sine of x. Find the derivative of that. And we'll actually do that problem. Why not? Um, so our formula. Low d high minus high d low. Well, low g of x is low on the fraction, and f of x is high on the fraction. So, low, g of x, d high, f of x, so you use the d to stand for the derivative, minus high, which is f of x, d low, g of x, over low squared g of x squared. g of x times the derivative of f of x minus f of x times the derivative of g of x over g of x squared. That is our quotient rule. That's the formula. And once again, when we have our f of x and our g of x, we'll take the derivative of each. We just plug them into the formula, and we have the derivative. No problems. No problems whatsoever. So, the only trick is just uh, making sure you can't have g prime of x times f of x minus f prime of x, sorry, times f prime of x times g of x. I mean, that won't work because you have the negative backwards. So, yeah, you have to keep the order in mind. You don't, obviously, you don't have to use uh, my little song, but whatever works for you. Jumping into a problem, for this one, f of x logically would be 2x. So our derivative of f of x will equal 2. And our g of x, it's on the bottom, is sine of x. And the derivative of that is cosine of x. Now we just plug this into our formula. g of x, sine of x. Derivative of f of x is 2. Uh, minus f of x, which is 2x, and the derivative of g of x, which is cosine of x. This is all over g of x squared, sine of x squared. And that's our quotient rule. It's very easy. All these have a common trait. You know, you find your f of x, uh, you determine what your f of x and your g of x is going to be, take the derivative of each, plug them into the formula. So the only thing you need to know is the formula to do these, really. Let's pull up another one. Now, yeah, what do we want to do? Find the derivative of... sine of x over cosine of x. f of x will be sine of x. f prime of x equals cosine of x. g of x is cosine of x. 
g prime of x is negative sine x. Hmm, this will be fun. Alright, low d high cosine of x times the derivative of the sine of x is cosine of x minus high d low sine of x times the derivative of the cosine of x. over low squared, cosine of x squared. Let's simplify this and see where it leads us. Uh, this will equal cosine squared of x. These negatives cancel, and then we get sine squared of x. So we got cosine squared plus sine squared. over cosine squared. Well, you'll remember from your trig functions that cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So the top simplifies 1, you have 1 over cosine squared of x. 1 over cosine squared x is the same as secant squared of x. The derivative is secant squared x, that's the derivative of a tangent x. How'd that happen? Well, sine over cosine is tangent. So this stuff comes full circle a lot. You'll notice a lot of these types of patterns as you start doing stuff. And that's really the goal of uh, you know any teacher is to get your student familiar with all this kind of stuff so they can go and apply and figure out new stuff become good little scientists and stuff. Uh, so that's our derivative on the quotient rule. Take the derivatives of everything, put it into the formula, and you got it.